Good evening, everyone. This is Larry Phillips coming to you on the 6th of October. It's about a little after 9 o'clock here in Pineville, Missouri. And this is being prepared for you for Friday morning, 7th of October, 2022. You know, I think it's maybe quite typical for a person as they get older and they're in their final years of their life to reflect on their life and what they've, they've learned through not only their experiences, but through um, the Word of God being revealed to them if they're one of God's people. And I hope that I'm one of those people. Um, one of the things that I have become totally convinced about is that um, a person's life is influenced from the womb to the tomb by primarily um, four things. One is um, their parents you know, their family and their parents. Two is their education they're brought up in. Three is the social structures, um, and that includes the government, that includes um, all, all social structures. And then for the Christian, the most important thing is the Holy Spirit. Christ, God the Father, and the Holy Spirit. Without the influence of the Holy Spirit, we would not have truth. Because we would be so blinded by the um, the lies of the uh, culture that we wouldn't be able to have any discernment about what was true. And I can give some examples of that. Uh, as a very young child, I I remember in, even in kindergarten, I think that I went, um, I went to the school that was called Mark Twain Elementary, Mark Twain. You know, and I'm sure there are globes in the schoolroom, in the classrooms. And, you know, Walt Disney was promoted, Disneyland, Disney World. And the media and television and the films that we watched in school, reel-to-reel films, and National Geographic, and all of the other books that I read, you know, beginning with the very earliest books, you know, um, Dick and Jane, and Sally, and uh, Puff, and Spot, you know. But, but the reason I'm bringing this up is that without the Holy Spirit revealing to us the truth of God's Word, we would be in total um, confusion. We would believe that we are a, a globe. We would believe that the earth is spinning through space. The Bible tells us that the earth is stationary. The Bible tells us that God stretched it out like a tent. We would believe the lie that God loves everyone. That God's word reveals to us that he is very specific to who he loves and who he died for. 
Okay. You know, the culture through the influence of the Roman Catholic Church and many other religions has tried to totally control the minds of the population of the world through many different things and mainly through education, through sports, through entertainment, through um, all kinds of avenues to get people's minds off of the Word of God and on to other things. And a lot of people have bought into the preoccupation of most of their lives in not thinking about the Word of God and thinking about other things. Whether it is playing games on the internet or pursuing a PhD degree in history or um, in education or in philosophy or in engineering or in science or in, you know, whatever it is. The way people spend their entire lives is a reflection of what they believe. You know, my wife and I, we went to Pea Ridge, Arkansas to get some groceries, and we went by two different stadiums. This is on a Thursday night, probably representing 3,000 people, you know, tying their whole evening up in sports. That was just in one little town of about 5,000 people. Just think if you multiply that over all of the United States, all the college sports activities, all the national football, all the, all the basketball leagues, all of the soccer teams, all of the, um, every imaginable kind of sports, you know. And that doesn't include you know, all the other things that people get involved in, which is bowling and chess and ping pong and and card playing and bingo and and all of the Internet games that are available. This is what mind control through the culture has done to our social structure. It has gotten people's mind off of God, off of His Word, and on to other things that are more important, boating, Fishing, hunting, hiking, camping, um, so that's kind of what's been on my mind, you know, and I think the biggest, um, the biggest deception of everything that I've just mentioned, the biggest deception is education. Education. The world has made education its God. The world has made education its God. The exaltation of the creature. And it's taken away the truth of God's Word and put it in the hands of the philosophy of men. You know, I had a friend of mine, Richard Bennett, who was a converted Catholic, he said that the first three years of his theological instru- instruction was, you know, studying the great philosophers, Socrates, Plato, you know, all of these philosophers, Aristotle. Well, the message that I would like to say is let's get back to the Word of God and let's give God the glory and all things, including the Holy Spirit revealing to us the truth of His Word. May the good Lord be with you. God bless.